When it comes to energy, there is one matter everyone agrees on. For the near future, at least, the world will need more of it, and how it is produced and used will be a critical factor in the future of the global economy, geopolitics, and the environment. So how will the future energy will look like in 2050? Global energy demand will continue to grow. But growth will be slower, an average of about 0.7% a year through 2050. The decline in the rate of growth is due to digitization, slower population and economic growth, greater efficiency, a decline in European and North American demand, and the global economic shift toward services, which use less energy than the production of goods. By 2050, global energy intensity that is, how much energy is used to produce each unit of GDP, will be half what it was in 2013. Demand for electricity will grow twice as fast as that for transport. China and India will account for 71% of new capacity. By 2050, electricity will account for a quarter of all energy demand, compared with 18% now. How will that additional power be generated? More than 77% of new capacity will come from wind and solar sources. What that means is that by 2050, non-hydro renewables will account for more than a third of global power generation, a huge increase from the 2014 level of 6%. To put it another way, between now and 2050, wind and solar are expected to grow four to five times faster than every other source of power. Energy-related greenhouse gas emissions will rise 14% in the next 20 years. Around 2035 emissions will flatten and then fall, for two main reasons. First, cars and trucks will be cleaner, due to more efficient engines and the deployment of electric vehicles. Second, there is the shift in the power industry toward gas and renewables. The countervailing trends are that there are likely to be some 1.5 billion more people by 2035, and global GDP will rise by about half over that period. All those people will need to eat and work, and that means more energy. To encourage the creation of the clean and reliable energy infrastructure that the world needs, energy producers will need to work with local, regional, national, and international regulators. Getting things right the first time is essential, there is extensive evidence to show that dramatic changes in policy act as a powerful deterrent to energy investments by producers. Given the scale of the new investments needed, this will be a factor of growing importance. Did you enjoy our video? If you did please drop comment, like and subscribe to our channel.